dearly loved family and friends. We gather in love and in the presence of the only God to celebrate his joining together of this man and this woman in marriage. The covenant of marriage was conceived by God in creation, rehearsed by Christ in his sacrificial pursuit of the church, his bride, and will be fulfilled one day at a great wedding feast of the Lamb when he returns to consummate his great love for us, his people, and make us his own. The union of a husband and a wife is a union of hearts. It's a union of minds. A marriage is a union of bodies and lives for the shared joy and comfort, shared help, and the building of the kingdom of God through the lives of the children and other strangers who might find their way into this family by God's grace. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which God has instituted. Allison, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Isaac, will you have this woman to be your wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage, will you love her and comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Will all of you witnessing these promises today do all that is in your power to uphold these two in their marriage? I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do.